Hey everybody. Hey guys. Welcome back to the Terror Blog. Welcome to the Terror Blog. We are here. You can't see it. It's <laughs> it's behind you. But we are here at the Sculpture Park, the Seattle Art Museum Sculpture Park, and we're going to show you around. I've never been here. So let's go take a look. Let's go look. Lots of traffic. A lot of traffic here. sculpture well it looks like a tree it's not a tree metal the old spaghetti factory open for lunch wonder if they make the spaghetti there Quite obviously. <laughs> it's old spaghetti though. Oh. Walk into the sculpture. <laughs> walking, walking. I got a headache, that's why my head, hands are on my head. That's horrible. <laughs> this one's called Shiver Me Timbers. No, it's actually called Bunyan's Chess. Oh. It was made in 1965 by Mark D. Suvero. That's pretty rad. Can you read that? <laughs> if you can, yeah, there's some shade. Does that help? Let us know in comments. <laughs> Big old sculpture. I like to call that one exploding starfish. Hi, crow. How you doing? Hope, hope you're doing all right. You don't want to take a seat. You don't want to sit down. Oh, yeah, good idea. You don't want to take a view. These are very comfortable sculptures. What is that supposed to mean? Are these not sculptures? <laughs> these are oh. chairs. <laughs> you dingus. <laughs> you knew that. Look at the sailboat, dude. You knew that. Look at the sailboat. You knew Look that. The, I knew that. You can't see this. Oh yeah, you can. Look at that sailboat. Enhance. <laughs> Whoa! That, we're probably gonna cut that out because that might have been too brain warping. <laughs> oh, there's a space needle. Oh, look at that space needle behind us. That's perfect. That is, it's like we that's planned really this. Nice. Yeah, it is like we planned it. Um, I don't think we've ever planned anything in our lives, Roger. <laughs> that's sad. <laughs> All right, so, so hey guys, just um, just back from his sabbatical. I'm back from my trip. Those weddings I told you about last bonus round or last bonus round last uh, terror blog. Terror blog. There was a bonus round. There was a bonus though. round that happened on Sunday. Induction. Yeah. So. Uh, we'll have a link in the description to that guy. That was a lot of fun. It that was, was really super cool. fun. And yeah. uh, hopefully, uh, brain melting. I remember where I actually heard about that game now. Oh, where did you hear about it? It was from Indiecade. Uh, oh, okay, so, cool. Indiecade. Yeah, it's something uh, that I will do a link I follow them on Twitter and so they post a lot of interesting cool like, yeah we'll have a we'll have a link yeah. yeah so um that'll be in the description um the yeah so hopefully I'll be able to do a lot more games like that to where we get you games before they're out yeah that'd be really um, awesome that was a super fun that was just super fun to do yeah it was especially really cool. thanks again to Brian Gale for letting us yeah uh, absolutely show his game off a little bit yeah it was really fun um so hopefully we'll be able to do more stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> we've also got some more bonus rounds lined up. We do, so we do, yeah. Stay tuned for those. We don't know when they're going to be out. They're just kind of... Uh, they're a bonus. Yeah, they're a bonus. Yeah. So whenever we get the spare time and uh, the intuition. <laughs> the intuition. The motivation. The motivation. <laughs> we'll do them. Yeah, for sure. Guaranteed. Eventually. Maybe five years from now. 
No, probably like next week. Maybe next week. But yeah, I got back from my trip. It was a crazy trip. I went to two weddings. Two weddings. Two weddings. One job. I was on I was on eight planes in six <laughs> days. That's eight planes. It's, uh, it's, it's too many. It dude. feels like eight planes of existence, probably. Eight planes of existence. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. So good to be home. Yeah. Dude, I really want to play like Mario Kart down here. That would be so awesome. On the track. Yeah. It's like in this whole area. It reminds me of the the well any Mario Kart level with train tracks actually. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad there's no trains. It's not like the trolley from last time. Not like the trolley. Two times ago. You can really smell that salt, man. Yeah. Salt. Salty. Salty. There's a little nature trail. Come on, let's let's check it out. Let's explore. Let's explore. What is this? The Henry and William Ketchum Family Grove. It's a landscape precinct. Can you guys read that, Jeff? It reflect uh, in editing. If you could put all of the distinct ecosystems of the Northwest, over, yeah, <laughs> yeah, place of logs. Oh, it's a typewriter Type, eraser, typewriter dude. Typewriter eraser. That's cool. Right next to the freeway. Right next to the freeway. Also, kind of huge in gaming. Deals, yeah, big so. news. You want to do it? Yeah, sure. Um, we just wanted to kind of pay respects and give thanks to Satoru Iwata, yeah. who passed away mm -hmm. earlier this week. I mean, with, with he had such a big hand in Earthbound and Kirby and Pokemon and so many other games. Smash that, Brothers, man. Smash Brothers. Okay. I that think that's right, yeah. None of our childhoods would have been as colorful without him, so. And, yeah, and we're Nintendo people. I, I'm not yeah. really a big gamer otherwise, and I've always kind of been a Nintendo. I'm definitely person. a Nintendo guy, and so. so thank you, Satoru Iwata. Yeah. Condolences to your family and everyone who cared about you. Yeah, and he put them up to be set up in a great position. I mean, he, so. yeah, he set Nintendo up so well that it's, uh, yeah. he will really be missed, though. Absolutely. It's kind of cool to be like walking through nature while also like right next to a to busy the, thoroughfare. Yeah. I think this takes us all the way out, so if we want to go back, we should probably go back. <laughs> Do we want to go back? You can never go back. Never go back. So I think uh, we're gonna wrap it up right here next to these big uh, rusty Things. <laughs> big rusty things. Big rusty things. I'll show you big rusty thing right there. Nice, couple of them. Yeah. Hey, no, get get up here. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching the Terror Blog. How cool is that? Thank you. Yeah, it's really cool. I like those wavy walls. Yeah. That's neat. Wavy, dude. Yeah, keep doing it. It's like that 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 kid from that early. 2000s YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> that guy too, man. Fuck yeah. Um, but thank you guys for watching yeah. the Terra blog. Um, nothing else really going on. No, nothing going on. For, I mean, keep watching. Keep watching for uh, more bonus rounds. We got some more of those planned. If you're gonna be in the Seattle area, I had a show the other last week. It oh was yeah. Good. Um, but if you're in the Seattle area for the last weekend in July, July 31st, I have a show. Yeah, come see Happy Times, Sad Times. So that's my band. Yeah, so. fuck yeah. We'll put up a link to something yeah. in the description. In the description. Yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, uh, come check me out. Uh, that'd be cool. I'll be there. Yeah. Jeff It'll be great. Be there. And all my friends will be there. So that'll Woo. be great. Uh, yeah, uh, if not, then like no pressure, I guess. No pressure. <laughs> it's cool, just, man. Just, it's cool. If you don't want to show up, yeah, I get it. It's cool. Uh, it's fine. No pressure. But yeah, that's uh, all that's going on in our lives right now. Yeah, pretty so, much. Uh, have a good day. Have a good week. Have a great. Uh, we'll have a great week. We'll see you next Saturday. See you next time. Um, um, stay tuned. Next stay week tuned next where, week where we where pass gas. Pat, where we work work on some some gas issues <laughs> with Bino. Oh no, not with Bino. Oh, it was uh, Beefarino. Beefarino. Oh my god! I know. Oh my god.